Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, September 3rd, and it is a beautiful September day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Still quite warm. Um, looking forward to getting out and doing some yard work today and brushing the dogs, which is something I haven't done for a couple weeks, and boy, do I need to do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, September, my goodness. The summer has shot by uh, right before our eyes. Having some Cajun cake this morning, Cornell and Deal. This is the tobacco of the week as chosen by the live stream viewers. And uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, we do have a Friday night live stream, 8 p.m. Eastern, every Friday night right here on the channel. Come and join us. It's a it's a big old time, and it's when we pick the tobacco of the week, which is not anywhere near as exciting as it sounds. <laughs> so, yeah, Cajun cake is good stuff. Um, I talked about it a couple weeks back, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but Red Virginia Greek pressed cake form. Um, beautiful stuff. It it. If you're a Vapor fan and you like Perique, it's a chunk of Cajun cake. If you like Perique, you will probably love this. Um, I like Perique. I'm not a Virginia guy, so I don't usually gravitate to, gravitate towards pure Virginia Periques. But uh, this is pretty darn good. And the other. One that I really do enjoy is uh, Poplar Cam. And I kind of think this might be a cake version of Poplar Camp, to be honest with you. But deep red fermented Virginia sweetness and uh, lots and lots of pretty good stuff. So, uh, I got. So today's going to be a bit of a unusual one because I've got a, a topic, obviously. Uh, so it's not just going to be me babbling senselessly, although I'll probably do some of that. And the topic, if you saw the little intro, was, um, what did I call it? Something like advice to young pipe smokers, which is you know, just a way to get people to watch <laughs> because nobody wants my advice. But, uh, no, advice to young, and, and I do sincerely intend there to be some advice here. Uh, YouTube is unimportant. And what what exactly do I mean by that? Well, we're going to get into it, and I'll tell you up front, I mean it to be thought-provoking, not necessarily definitive. So I'm not really saying YouTube's unimportant. I'm not in any way saying our pipe community is unimportant. But I want it to be thought-provoking. So, I had a thought, and by the way, this is part one because I'm going to do at least three of these, and I know what the first two are, I know the point of the third one, but it's going to take me time, so don't expect these to be three weeks in a row, uh, but this will be a three-part series, at least, probably, probably three parts only. So... I had a thought at the pipe show a couple weeks ago, the Columbus Pipe Show, and that's what sort of has generated this um, this series. And I'm not going to reveal what that thought was yet. Uh, and, and by the way, it's not like I thought to myself, A equals B, therefore, you know, it, it just, I had a realization, and I haven't yet really put it into words, to be honest with you. But a couple of things just kind of fell together as I was sitting there at the table. And I, I, I realized that we're not necessarily always seeing the world the way it is. So, you're a new pipe smoker. And if you're watching this video, you're either a new pipe smoker who fell for the title. <laughs> or you're somebody that's watched me for a long time that, for whatever reason, likes to watch me. 
But let's assume you're a new pipe smoker, okay? And you're... You found this YouTube thing and it's it's full of knowledge and information and... You, you, you hit the, the jackpot, right? Because what else do you have? You know, when I, when I started smoking a pipe, I had a brick and mortar that I could walk to. It was a long walk, but I could walk to it. And uh, there were people there that knew what they were doing that I could ask questions of, and they could give me help. Did I take advantage of that? That's another story for another time, but the short answer is no. Uh, <laughs> I, I slugged it out on my own. So you don't have that very, very likely, unless you're very lucky uh, to live near one of the few remaining brick and mortars. So, where are you going to learn how to do this? Well, you're going to go to YouTube, which is where you learn how to do everything, right? And you're going to find videos and you're going to be a happy person. And you're going to learn about tobaccos and you're going to learn about on a bookshop and you're going to learn about uh, a lot of Kia bombs. Uh, I don't know what the popular one is these days, but there, there's always one of those floating around. You're going to, you're going to learn about aromatics, and, and you're, you're going to think you've understood the world of pipe smoking. You haven't. It's a very, 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 very tiny bubble within the world of pipe smoking. And that's the thing <clears throat> that I think is, is sort of the nucleus of, of this, this thought that I had. We're a tiny segment of the pipe smoking population. I've talked about this before, some of you are getting bored with hearing me say it, but the number one selling pipe tobacco in the world is Captain Black. I don't know anybody that regularly smokes Captain Black. I know a few people that smoke it now and then, but I do not know anybody that regularly smokes Captain Black. The number one selling bulk tobacco in the world is Lane 1Q. I know a few people that smoke that. I don't understand why they do it. It's vile stuff, in my opinion. You won't see that many YouTube videos about either of those tobaccos. But those are what's keeping the industry alive. We're a tiny, tiny bubble. Or we're sitting inside of a tiny bubble within this vast, vast universe of pipe smoking. Um, the pipes we talk about, most pipe smokers don't care about. Uh, you know, a few years back, custom builds were all the rage. And don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with a custom build other than they're ugly. Nothing wrong with them. <laughs> they were all the rage. Do you think the majority of pipe smokers even were thinking about that? They weren't. It, it was... And, and, oh, the prices went up on eBay. Everybody must want one. No. The people on YouTube wanted them. Those were the people bidding. You were bidding against one another. We were raising the price up on our own self. It's a tiny little bubble. A tiny little insignificant bubble. Now, what goes on inside that bubble is good stuff. You know, we care about one another. We take care of one another. We share what we know. We, you know. But let's, don't ever get too hung up on the importance of what goes on inside that bubble to the outside world. So why am I even talking about this? Well, because from time to time, you, and again, I'm going to address the, the new pipe smoker, the new member, if you will, the new member of our community. From time to time, you're going to see some strange stuff happen. You're going to see people give advice that doesn't quite make sense to you. Maybe it's wrong, maybe it's right, and you never thought about it that way, but you're going to, you're going to be confused. You're going to see people say things that you disagree with. And you're going to see drama. You're going to see people get mad at one another. You're going to see arguing, infighting, factions forming. And then that's all going to go away, and it's going to go back to 
normal for a while and it will happen again and again it will be these cycles and I was fortunate enough to have a conversation with uh, matches John Harden uh, back when obviously when he was still alive about this topic because there was some drama going on and we happened to be in email contact at the time and I said boy this is something else and he said you know this is and, and John had been on YouTube I, I haven't counted but let's just say he had probably been on YouTube at this time as long as I have been now so this was at least seven years ago maybe and I think he was probably around for seven eight years at that point and I was relatively new and he said, look, this is going to happen. It, it comes and goes. It's like, it's like waves on an ocean. You just ride over them and you enjoy the show. And I've tried really hard to live by that advice because uh, I thought it was some of the best advice I've gotten. Uh, don't jump in that ocean unless you have to. There's been a few times I have, you know, I, at times I felt like it was personal. At times I felt like it was affecting friends of mine and I've, I've waited in probably more than I should have but I try really hard not to do that but it's going to happen and when it happens we, we have a choice to make we can get mad and you know take our ball and go home or we can let it die out and, and then go back to enjoying what we got here Because at the end of the day, we're not the universe. We're not pipe smoking. We're not the world of tobacco. We're relatively unimportant. That sounds pessimistic. That sounds like I'm degrading what we are, and I'm not. I'm just trying to put it into perspective especially for somebody that's just walking into this for the first time and watching current videos, old videos, you know, past, past events and, and thinking, what the heck is this thing? Don't take it too seriously. Glean from it what you can and what you can glean from it is good stuff. There's some good quality advice out there good quality information about pipes and tobaccos and, and how to smoke them and it, it's out there. There's also a lot of noise, but you'll figure it out. You don't need anybody to say, watch this person, don't watch that person. You'll figure it out. There's a lot of good people. A lot of good friends, you know, people that have really become important in my life. And that's where this whole thing breaks down because yes, in the world of pipe smoking, YouTube is not very important. But in my own personal life, for me, it, it can be very important because I've got some very dear friends in, in the community that has arisen from this. So glean those friendships. Glean that information. But don't, don't make it more than it deserves to be. And don't be afraid when you see somebody stomping off with their ball towards their house because they, they just can't do it anymore. It's okay. Odds are they'll be back. And if they're not, there'll be somebody else and life goes on. a lot of good people and a lot of good information and a lot of good times so keep that in mind ride those waves enjoy the show so that's part one probably not very very deep but I think in terms of advice to young pipe smokers, to 
people that are joining the YouTube pipe community early on, people that maybe have been around it for a while and don't quite get it. There's a few of those. Uh, does anybody really get it? I don't know. <laughs> that would be my main piece of advice, and it's a piece of advice that John gave me you know, seven years ago, eight years ago, something like that. Uh, six or seven years, probably. Just ride the waves, enjoy the show, try not to get out of your boat. Best advice I've gotten for this. I don't know if I mentioned this is a Talbert uh, Ligne Bretagne billiard, and uh, Cajun Cake is getting along very well with it. Ah, uh, so today got some got some work to do down here. Having some fun with some bowl turning, trying to use up the mulberry wood before it dries out. So we'll we'll see what that what that does for us today. Got to spend some time in the yard. Got got some yard work to do. Got to got to brush the dogs. My goodness, they've become so darn shitty over the past week. It's it's ridiculous. So that's that's going to be fun. And it's my fault for putting it off because I something kept coming up because normally I do it every week, but they've just <laughs> they, they look like uh, twice the dog they are for some reason. I guess it's time of year for that to happen. I don't know. So that's what my Sunday has in store for me. Um, we got a live stream on Friday. I did a rare Wednesday video this week. Maybe I'll do another one. I don't know. Uh, I like doing them. But certainly having the time to do the traditional roadway ramble is, is... I know it sounds silly because all I have to do is drive home and talk. But the truth is I do have to have a little bit of planning that goes into it. I have to remember to take the GoPro camera with me. And I have to remember to do it. <laughs> I start the car up to turn everything on. And then I have to edit it when I get home. So they're, they're not trivial to make. They're actually more work to make than this type of video. So, But I enjoy them. So we'll see. Maybe we'll get back to it. Maybe we'll do them monthly. I don't know. We'll see. But definitely I'll see you on Friday. So Friday night at 8pm. Uh, always, I always look forward to that and I hope you do too and that you can join us. With that, folks, I have wasted enough of your Sunday. Thank you for joining me. And until we meet again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.